happy Friday. Welcome back to another five weekly favorites. Um, what to start with? A couple Target finds. I'll start with the home, a couple home finds I guess mm -hmm. we had. This one is, um, so I think on Target it's called like the resin, something like modern resin canister. I'll link it down below. Um, but it's basically a bathroom canister made from resin. So the material is really unique. I feel like it almost feels like ceramic but less heavy, but it still feels pretty substantial. Um, so they're $10 each, and I saw these online, kept looking for them in the store, and our store was just like constantly mm -hmm. sold out every time I went. So I ordered them online, and you know how Target never wrapped anything. It wasn't bubble wrapped or anything. So I ordered two, and one of them arrived cracked. So of course they replaced it, but it's kind of frustrating. So I just use them in my bathroom. Like this one has my dental flossers in it. I love how big they are, but they're not too big, but I feel like you can actually fit like larger items in them um, and $10 is such a good deal for like how sleek they look so I wanted to mention those. Um, I have a jewelry favorite so we both again and I'm sorry we always talk about and other stories for their jewelry but it's our favorite jewelry and this isn't on the website yet but they usually do come yeah, around. So we're it just should of, be there and yeah. and other stories does free shipping and free returns like on their website. Yeah so. because my earrings that I'm wearing now that I talked about a few weeks ago they weren't on the website but they are now. Oh they are? I think so. Oh because I looked for this ring yesterday and I didn't see those earrings. Oh, weird okay. But well, they might make an appearance. Yeah so so we're trying to link everything we can, but we can't not talk about it because we love them. And if you have a store close to you, like, please go and look. But it's this ring right here. We can do an insert um, to show you what it looks like close up. It looks up. very, like, vintage -y. Yeah, it's kind of, like, Art Deco-y. Mm -hmm. Like, it has these sort of, um, what would you call it? Like, a ripple effect. Yeah, it kind of goes into the center and, like, tapers into each other. And, yeah, it just looks really vintage but and, like, chic. And I... Don't know if I've ever loved a ring like silhouette so much. Yeah, we both walked into the store. We went to the mall last night and we were like, oh, let's go to any of the stories, like see what jewelry they have. And we also have that tank top or it's like their mm -hmm. knit v-neck top in white and we've been dying to get it in black. It's sold out online. We haven't been able to find it in store. So we were kind of like going for both reasons yeah. and then they have jewelry it's at the so front of the store in the back and like we walked into the front and both saw these. There were two smalls mm -hmm. left. Had to get it. Yeah, so... We love this ring. It is seriously so pretty. Like, if I could find a solid gold in this, yeah. like, style, I would totally spend the money. Yeah. Because it is so pretty. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, love that. So that was a big find this week. And then um, we have a Trader Joe's find. This is our second bag because we're so obsessed. They're the Trader Joe's Carolina Gold Barbecue Flavored Ridge Cup Potato Chips. If you saw these on our Instagram, you already know how we feel about them. I think they're my new favorite potato chip. Yeah. I know there's like huge words, but they're so uh, good. They're so, so I good. listen to the Trader Joe's podcast. I don't think Carly does. Do you sometimes? Oh, I listen to every episode and it, they've been kind of like few and far between um, because once the pandemic hit, they were just like very sporadic, but it used to be, I think, weekly. Anyway, so on the podcast, they talk a lot about like upcoming releases, which I love. And they talked about these potato chips and they talked about how the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce is one of their most popular barbecue sauces um, because it has like a mustardy flavor. And so they decided to make it into a potato chip. And I told Carly, I was like, I've never heard of this barbecue sauce, maybe because we don't eat meat. Yeah. But I was like, mustardy barbecue sauce? It sounds right up our alley. So the chips did live up to the hype. They taste like mustardy barbecue chips. And we actually bought the barbecue sauce to eat them with like cauliflower wings. Yeah, we're trying to like find some cauliflower wings to eat them with. We don't want to make them ourselves. Yeah, so these are amazing. Really, really recommend them. I hope that they don't go away super soon. Do you think they're seasonal? Oh, I hope not. They're literally so good. They're like vinegary, mustardy. Yeah, it says tang of mustard and vinegar. And a little bit smoky. Sweet and smoky notes. So good. They're amazing. Okay, what's next? Okay, the other food item is this creamer so we went to target on a hunt for seasonal creamers that we saw they now had in store because if you guys are anything like us you just live for fall and you cannot wait for fall items to hit the shelf yes any fall item that we see we pick up hand soap mm -hmm. food i don't even know what else there is oh, but yeah, we usually do like a fall favorites video so this oh, yeah, might make it up this year yeah um so we, of course, were like, oh, well, the first thing that hits stores that's fall is the creamer section. 
So we went and picked up a few new ones, but this one has been like so amazing and it's dairy like free. So yeah, plant-based. Plant-based. I didn't realize that this oat milk one was the Natural Bliss brand that we like. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Oat Milk Creamer, all natural plant-based, and it is the pumpkin spice flavor and it is so good. And usually these more vegan like creamers we find to have. We've never liked them until we tried the oat milk kind. Yeah, they have like really weird texture generally. And they're not creamy enough. Yeah, they're not creamy enough and they don't really, they don't blend with coffee very well. But this brand is really good and the pumpkin spice flavor is no exception. It is so delicious and it's a really simple ingredient list. It's yeah. Just, oh, well, I think that's the natural bliss. Mm -hmm. It's just oat milk, cane sugar, coconut oil, baking soda, pea protein, jelly and gum that's kind of weird probably a thickening agent and then natural flavor so really simple and so it makes us feel better because we sometimes can indulge in those like very fake creamers yeah so we're trying, so to, trying not to, to do that, do that. But we also got the natural bliss cinnamon swirl one and that one isn't dairy free but it's part of the natural bliss mm -hmm. line so like lower ingredients it's really amazing too yeah but this one is like so seasonal so we want to talk yeah. about it mm -hmm. okay and then last is i guess another <laughs> seasonal item um, oh, I didn't bring one in That here. we got at one. Target. This is the Hearth and Hand Soy Candle in Harvest Spice. So we got the mini size just to see how it performs because if you guys know Target candles, like, you know, no shade. I know we have our own candle lines, so we're very picky, but most of the time, like, they don't really burn super well. They have, like, not great hot throw, but the scents can be pretty good. Yeah, actually, I find that a lot of them burn really well. They just don't have great hot throw which is weird they usually don't have any hot throw which is the more so the issue but i feel like this one burned better than any other one yes yeah. um so this is a soy candle but it was the wax is super super smooth um and the hot throw is actually really good on this little guy we just got the small size like i said and the harvest spice it's just very I like i think they have it every year because i've definitely bought a harvest spice last year i'm pretty sure i love this scent Oh, I thought it was a new one. I thought they had it last year too and we got it in that um, like metallic tin that was like metallic maybe. and it just said Harvest Spice on it. I'll have to look maybe. back because I might still have it in my drawer. Yeah, I, I don't remember, but it seemed new to me. Well, they the had, vessel's new and that's why we the wanted vessel's it new. it's really cute. Yeah, it's super cute. Um, but it was, I don't know if you can even tell, but when we got them, all of them had like leaked out wax and they were just like, it yeah. stained the bottom. It like was the really finished. It was like it was they really melted weird. on the truck and someone didn't care and just put them on the put shelf. Put them on the shelf. They all had like this wax on the outside. So very strange, um, but that's probably the store's issue. Um, anyway, the hot throw is really good on this and it burned really well. So a really good fall candle option that's affordable at Target. The other two, I actually liked the woody one the most, but there was like no cold throw. So that made me think that there would be no hot throw. Mm -hmm. So we didn't even try because that one I liked more than this, but this one was the strongest. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a fall candle, that's head on cute. over to Target. Yeah. Okay. That is everything this week and we hope you guys had a great week and you have a good weekend and we'll see you next week.